Have you ever imagined a warship striking an enemy carrier strike group from thousands of miles away with pinpoint accuracy at speeds several times faster than sound, instantly crippling it? When the Chinese military account first revealed footage of the Type 055 destroyer 104 Wuxi conducting test launches of a double cone missile, labeling it a hit, the question instantly ignited heated debate across global military circles. Could this missile, speculated to be the YJ-20 hypersonic anti-ship missile, truly extend the Chinese Navy's anti-ship strike range to 1,000 kilometers, thereby reshaping the rules of modern naval warfare. As a military blogger who has long tracked cutting-edge weaponry developments, I understand that behind these few seconds of footage lies a silent technological revolution. Let us delve deeper, from the missile's roar to its strategic ripple effects, to unveil this new chapter in the maritime power struggle. First, replay that awe-inspiring test launch moment under the night sky over a yellow sea area. The vertical launch system of a Type 055 destroyer ignited abruptly. A missile with a distinctive double cone warhead sliced through the darkness, striking its target with astonishing precision. This was no isolated incident. When combined with the similar test launch from the Type 101 Nanchang destroyer, on the eve of Navy Day 2022 and the H-6K bomber's display of the same missile variant at the Zhuhai Air Show, a clear trajectory emerges. The Chinese Navy is steadily advancing the operational deployment of hypersonic anti-ship weapons. The double cone warhead design is a hallmark of hypersonic glide vehicles, enabling the missile to maneuver and alter its trajectory after atmospheric re-entry. This breaks free from the fixed paths of traditional ballistic missiles, significantly enhancing penetration capabilities. Official sources indicate this missile maintains a speed of Mach 6 throughout its flight, accelerating to Mach 10 during terminal dive a lethal velocity exceeding 3 km per second. At such speeds, existing shipborne air defense systems like Aegis or the HQ series face drastically compressed intercept windows, with reaction times becoming virtually negligible. Focusing further on the missile itself, the widely discussed YJ-20 and YJ-21 are in fact twin variants sharing the same technological architecture, highlighting China's deliberate approach to platform standardization. The YJ-20, Launched from the Type 055 destroyer reportedly boasts a range exceeding 1,000 kilometers, with some analyses suggesting up to 1,500 kilometers, far from mere numerical speculation. This capability enables the Type 055 to conduct preemptive, standoff strikes from beyond the typical combat radius of carrier-based aircraft, operating safely outside enemy reach. Imagine a distant maritime standoff. The Type 055 stealthily positions itself, needing no risky advance yet can blanket the entire disputed sea area with hypersonic missiles. This capability fundamentally disrupts traditional anti-ship warfare logic, whereas earlier anti-ship missiles like America's Harpoon or China's early YJ series typically operated within hundreds of kilometers, forcing launch platforms to approach targets and expose themselves to high risks. The emergence of the YJ-20 extends the strike chain into the realm of long-range surveillance. Integrated with reconnaissance systems like satellites and drones, it enables cross-domain coordination, where detection leads directly to destruction. Its guidance system is particularly noteworthy. Equipped with an active radar seeker, the missile autonomously locks onto moving targets during terminal phase. Even under enemy electronic jamming, its high-speed penetration provides a physical advantage that significantly reduces the effectiveness of interference. Combined with its near-vertical attack angle, it specifically targets the most vulnerable deck sections of warships. A single hit can severely damage or even sink a 10,000-ton destroyer. Against colossal vessels like aircraft carriers, it can inflict devastating functional damage, temporarily crippling their takeoff and landing capabilities, and thereby dismantling the entire battle group's operational system. Underpinning this killer feature is the outstanding design of the Type 055 destroyer itself, which serves as a formidable platform. Its HT-1 vertical launch system boasts a diameter of 850 millimeters and offers two depth options, 7 meters and 9 meters, making it one of the largest and most versatile VLS systems currently in service worldwide. I often explain to audiences that the VLS is like the internal organs of a warship. Its compatibility directly determines the diversity of weapons and rapid response capabilities. The HT-1 system supports both hot and cold launch configurations, enabling flexible mixed deployment of YJ anti-ship missiles, HQ air defense and anti-missile missiles, U anti-submarine guided missiles, and even land attack CJ cruise missiles. This, one cell, multiple missiles, philosophy allows the Type 055 to integrate multiple mission dimensions onto a single platform, from air defense, missile defense, and anti-ship capabilities to land strikes, 
making it virtually omnipotent. In contrast, Western mainstream destroyers like the U.S. Arla Burt class feature MK-41 VLS tubes with a diameter of only 635 mm. While achieving compatibility, they inevitably struggle when faced with larger hypersonic missiles. Building upon accumulated experience from earlier Chinese naval designs, such as the Russian-made RIF system on the Type 051C and the H, the JK-03 on the Type 052C, the Chinese Navy ultimately achieved a late mover advantage with the HT-1. This represents not merely technological iteration, but a leap in operational doctrine, transforming warships from traditional regional air defense nodes into versatile maritime firepower fortresses. When hypersonic weapons like the YJ-20 are loaded into these launchers, the Type 055 transforms into a mobile strategic deterrence platform. Its forward presence alone is sufficient to constrain an adversary's entire fleet deployment. A global comparison further highlights the paradigm shift brought by the YJ-20. Currently, Western Navy's anti-ship operations still rely primarily on subsonic missiles like the US Harpoon or Norway's NSM. While these boast advantages in stealth and precision, their speeds typically hover around Mach 0.9 relying on saturation attacks and low detectability for penetration. Russia's Zirkin hypersonic missile has made its debut, but its actual deployment scale and integration progress remain unclear. The emergence of China's YJ-20 has immediately seized the lead. It combines the long-range and hypersonic speed advantages of ballistic missiles with the terminal maneuverability of cruise missiles, forming a unique cross-domain integrated strike capability. Of course, the combat effectiveness of any weapon system depends on tactical formation and strategic deployment. Eight Type 055 destroyers are currently in service, forming a multi-layered maritime force alongside Type 052D destroyers and aircraft carrier strike groups. In wartime scenarios, Type 055 vessels armed with YJ-20 missiles can serve as forward snipers, patrolling the fleet's periphery to establish secure zones through their beyond visual range strike capabilities. Simultaneously, the air-launched YJ-21 variant, carried by H-6K bombers, enables integrated air-sea strikes, further expanding strike range and operational flexibility. This multidimensional deployment embodies the core of China's anti-access area denial strategy, using long-range precision firepower to deny adversaries access to critical maritime areas. Looking ahead, the technological potential of the YJ-20's derivatives should not be underestimated. Its double cone design may evolve into more advanced wave riding configurations to enhance glide distance and maneuverability. Range could extend through propellant optimization or even integration of hypersonic cruise technology. Guidance systems might incorporate multi-mode seekers like infrared and passive RF to boost anti-jamming capabilities. Subsequent upgraded variants of the Type 055 destroyer may feature increased vertical launch system cells or integrate new weapon systems like lasers and electromagnetic railguns, forming a layered fire network combining high and low altitude capabilities. In essence, the combination of the 055-class destroyer and the YJ-20 hypersonic missile represents far more than a simple equipment upgrade. It serves as a strategic pivot for the Chinese Navy's transformation from near-sea defense to far-sea protection. This cutting-edge technology answers the initial question, Yes, a strike radius exceeding 1,000 kilometers is not only possible but has become a reality. This sword capable of repelling enemies from a thousand miles away is redefining the very essence of maritime dominance.